Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. Guys, uh, today I'm going to cover a very, very small topic that how to handle key press events in Selenium. Sometimes we have to enter, let's say, enter or a space or whatever you can see on your keyboard. I'm talking about your laptop keyboard or maybe the actual keyboard. Whatever you are pressing, right? If you want to send as a part of send keys, Okay, so how to do that in Selenium? So there is, this is called key uh, key based events that we have to follow. So how to do that? So to do this thing, guys, what we have to do that uh, we have to use uh, a keys class is available. It's a very famous interview question also. Very quickly, let's do that. First, I'll tell you the example that what exactly I'm talking about. So let's see, this is a site, key presses, and then uh, you can see that this site is available and it's saying that uh, press a key and see what you input it. So let's see. I'm pressing enter. So you will see you entered enter. I press space space bar, space bar. I enter E, I enter T, I enter S, I enter one, zero, Z, X, like this. Slash, dot, dot means period, comma, like this. Right back code. All these things I'm pressing. So all these as a keys key event I'm pressing. I'm passing all these things. So how to do that in Selenium? So to do this thing in Selenium, sometimes uh, we have to use that. Sometimes, uh, 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 let's see, the send keys, the actual text, in, uh, instead of actual text you are passing, uh, maybe you have to, uh, you know, through this key arrow, key up, key down, left arrow, right arrow, we have to press like that. So how to do that? So very simple that I'll create one class. Let's see, my class name is, uh, key press event select the main method and click on finish or we will do one thing we will write a test in gp so i'll create directly at the rate test method and then public void i'll quickly write let's see key event test at the rate test is available in test ng i'll import and uh, I'll write a web driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver right and then I'll import these two statements and then quickly I'll take this property also system dot set property I'll initialize and then I'll launch my web driver I mean I launch my URL driver dot get what is the URL name? The URL name is this and this. Right now, what I'm gonna do that there are two options. There are two ways. The the first option is option number one that I'll directly pass the send keys. I create the web element and I'll directly pass the send keys. So how to do that? So the first time if I come over here, if you see the first time, it is like this. Okay so what i'm going to do that uh, there is if you see the page source one id is available div id okay you can see that this particular div id like this and then uh, let me inspect and i'll show you that uh, this okay so one id i would want to check this is id equal to flash class div id is equal to content so this is representing this entire thing is represented by this particular div id it means the moment i uh, you know i'll pass the send keys with this particular div id also that is that is fine so let's do that thing driver dot find element by dot id id is in your application maybe it, it will be a different id or something like that in that case we have to okay uh, press and down for uh, okay key press and key down and whatever the key you want to pass you can do that let's see some text field is there or something like that here we don't have any text field here i'm just like passing on this particular uh, web element and passing all the events so let's see id is equal to content i'll use this id equal to content id equal to content dot send keys and here in send keys instead of passing any value let's say i want to pass the value for space 
so how to do that simple keys dot space method is there okay it means the moment you press space over here see at the moment i press space right it's saying space so i'll inspect that space is coming or not i inspect this particular field that pid equal to result and uh, you entered space is available or not so i'll do one thing that uh, i'll get the text driver dot find element by dot id id is this result and i'll get the text dot get text method and then it will return one string let's see a string text is equal to this and uh, what i'm gonna do system dot auto print and i'll print this text and then i'll assert it assert dot assert equals what exactly your actual value actual value is text and what exactly you are expecting after entering the space after entering the space i'm expecting this you entered space oh, sorry you entered space this is what i'm expecting you entered space okay so simple guys why i'm using driver dot find element by dot id content in your case it will be a text field let's see you want to pass some space or something like that okay you want to pass like Naveen space world hello space world something like that in a particular text field okay so you have to get the id of that text field okay so and then i'm um, getting the text the moment i so this particular line it will press space from your keyboard automatically mm -hmm. and then the moment you do that automatically this particular you entered a space text will be displayed you capture the text and then you will verify it so how to do that so let's debug this and we will see in a, or maybe we will run it directly from here so let's it's launching chrome and it should press space it's not pressing it's getting failed it's saying unknown error let's see what is the error web driver cannot focus element okay so let's see what is the error cannot focus element because on this side this is the first time i'm also using let me check okay so we are getting this error cannot focus element okay the problem with send keys sometimes this problem occurs with send key this is a bug in selenium so we will do one thing let's not use send keys we will use let's not use end keys you can check this end keys on some different browser or maybe in your case it will work so i'm going to use action class ultimately i want to trigger keys event so let's see i'm going to create the action class object over here is equal to in that case we don't need any okay any element and uh, simple what exactly i'm going to do that with this action class reference action dot okay the method is send keys method i'll be using and then i'll be passing keys dot space right and then keys dot space uh, will return one space i mean it will return this particular thing the moment i press just a minute yeah the moment i press space it will return this you entered space text and then uh, it will print on the console and then we are verifying it so let's see it is working or not so let's run it okay so it's launching the browser and uh, okay again it got fail let's see key event action dot oh, oh, oh we have forgot to enter dot build dot perform dot build dot perform okay now let's run it again so key presses and now it's entering you enter space it immediately entered space and then it's now it's pass and it's taking the text you enter space and the assertion is getting failed at uh, assertion getting pass so assertion is also working fine and then you entered space like that now let's test with the enter so let's say i press enter over here let me refresh this and then i press enter okay enter so it's saying you enter like this 
so let me inspect and then i'll press enter so for enter we are expecting this you entered enter so keys dot enter and again it will we will verify this particular you entered enter is coming or not so let's run it again and we'll see so now this time it's gonna enter enter and then we'll see it's printing yes it's getting pass and you entered enter so ultimately what exactly i'm trying to say guys over here that this is how keys dot event you can pass if you see inside the keys class there are number of methods are available okay all all keys arrow down arrow left arrow right arrow up backspace cancel clear command all the options which are all the function keys also available okay and uh, left us left control and everything is available numeric pad is also one two three numeric pad is also available shift command tab space separator semicolon right everything is available over here so you can use any of them and then you can use by using action class so action classes are very uh, you know it's very important in this case because sometimes send keys doesn't work if you are using like this sometimes it doesn't work so better you perform the action and then uh, use the action okay like that so i think that's all for today and i mean that's all for this particular session it's very simple and uh, just practice with this particular site with the key press event and that's all thank you so much guys thanks for watching this video and this is my channel name Naveen automation labs if you really like this video please subscribe to the channel and share with others if you have any queries you can write your queries in the comment section definitely i'll try to reply thank you so much